In this video I will show you how you can use a multimeter, a digital multimeter. There are the old style multimeters, but digital multimeter is really what everyone uses these days. I mean at home or at work. The most important function in a digital multimeter is the continuity function and then the diode function. To check if the diode is working properly, allowing current to flow one way and stopping it the other way, checking the resistance basically, and also the battery check. This is the current sign, amps, ampere, and here is 200 micro amperes, and then the there are different settings here 10 amps is a separate connection the comb is always the plug and depending on what function you use you can use the volts or the ampere resistance or battery options milliampere microampere this is 200 milliampere now and then it's the same measurements but for ac current this is that was for dc current and this is for AC current. This is also for AC current. This is what you would use if you would check the terminals in your socket, in the power socket, which you should not do really, it's dangerous. But that's the place to check it. The volts, V and the comb, and say to 250 AC voltage to measure the amount. And this is the voltage in uh, DC, continuous. Different multimeters have different options and different settings. It's nice to have a stand like this one. It actually is pretty useful. And usually you have a battery inside. And it's pretty interesting. I never knew this one had a separate stand like this so I could take it out but also use the stand interesting I always use it in the case like that so yeah other than the battery which is a 9 volts battery usually you might have fuses this one has two fuses one is 250 milliampere hours 250 volts and the other one is 10 amps 250 volts I had to change the fuse a few times Usually, if you if you have a, a lot of a lo high load and you measure uh, amps, but you have, for example, two amps and you measure 250 milliamperes, it will it will break the fuse. It's for safety. Next thing, when you start using the multimeter, is to use the probes. These probes are 250 volts, 10 amps rated. It's important to use the correct probes for what you do. Most of the time you would check... Cont I, I rarely check the AC current. Actually, <coughs> only once or twice maybe black I check. Black goes to calm. Yeah, black goes to calm. Let's see the other ones. For current resistance yeah. and battery here for voltage here and for 10 amps here exactly most of the time i use it like this for measuring resistance the ohm sign there is the resistance to measure different circuits or to check for continuity actually the most useful tool here is the continuity when it also beeps that's the resistance on the lowest setting so it's easy to find if there is continuity between two points in a wire or if there is increased resistance then it means some wire could be damaged really this is the the most useful function look i touch them and they beep Yeah, this is a continuity test, it's really nothing, nothing special about it, 
but it's uh, especially because it beeps it's a quick way to check for things also you could check the resistance of things for example here i check one battery you would normally check a resistor or if there is a specification for a part a resistor and this is the voltage here for battery mode 1.29 it's pretty good for these are 1.2 volts rechargeable batteries from ikea this one needs to be charged this one needs to be charged yeah i just took it out from a um, clock change the battery so it's a nice way to check which batteries which batteries need to be charging and uh, if you have some alkaline batteries that you're not sure if they're still good you can check them with this mode on the highest impedance the ohms the resistance you can actually check your own resistance the resistance between your fingers you see i touched the uh, probes with my fingers and the uh, numbers there they mean that's the resistance between my fingers it's very high value there 20 ohm 20 mega ohms 20 mega ohms not kilo ohms mega ohms that's a lot of ohms you you would only see this on the 20 mega ohms maybe 2k 2 mega yeah you'd see here on 2 mega because it's under 2 when it goes under 2 you would you would see the number the closer the probes are on the finger the the lower the number basically and here i check the battery but i forgot to switch it to voltage so if you if you want to check the voltage you have to switch to the voltage side different multimeters have different settings but a lot of them they really have things in common this system where you have to change the probe from volts to ohms it's for safety so that you don't blow the fuse i mean this is what could uh, make the fuse break but it's okay you can just replace the fuse and uh, nothing nothing bad really happens yeah this is a good battery i mean okay it's pretty good here i got a bit confused i didn't know which one was the bad one so i checked it again and it's the bad battery so it goes to the recharging bin that's all i hope you can use a multimeter mostly for resistance and to check the voltage for things around small voltages try not to use it on the ac power because it's dangerous high voltage power but for batteries and small circuits to check if a cable or wire is working the continuity test works great for this in the car check the battery voltage of the car thanks for watching hope you like this video and watch the next one